Somebody asked me to explain how the Bible was put together. I'm just going to do a brief and then we can see how far we want to go into depth. The Bible was not written by one person, how we hear King James Version. In our minds, we think King James sat down and was inspired by God. It's the inspired word of God. God breathed into man to write it. And he just wrote this whole book. And that's why we have all these different versions. That is not true. Back, 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 back in the day, there was a council of men, a council of men who got together because the Bible is made of many, many books. That's why you have 66 books and it's letters. And the people that wrote the letters like Paul did not think and say, oh, this is going to be a part of the Bible one day. So whether you believe in the characters, if they're real or not, this is how it was put together. There were letters. There were all the stories that you hear, whatever. All these men came together and decided what was going to be put in there and what was not going to be put in there. There are many books that are missing and they called it the canon. Okay. And so this is just a brief, very, very short. Men put this book together. Well, God breathed into man. Man is flawed. Man are liars. Even that book says, let every man be a liar. Let God be true in every man a liar. That book is catered to men. It does not help black people and it does not help support women okay it was written by men that's just the truth okay it was and they chose what was going to be in there and what was not going to be in there and that also furthers the control the conditioning the programming this is just a start for you to do your research here's the thing if nothing else you have just been exposed to knowing that the bible was not written by one person that it was written by that it was put together by different people and it's different versions. Different versions means that people can switch up words, switch up meanings, take things out, put things in. How in the world can that be? Okay, now that's the word of God. Oh, the message Bible, that's the word of God. He's speaking in all these different versions. When according to the scripture itself, he spoke to people before there was ever a book. So, do your research. Just look up things like how the Bible was put together. Look up the word canon. Look up the council that put the Bible together. And look it up from a historical point of view, not from another pastor or a minister who's going to tell you something that it already says. And we can't go by, well, it's God breathed. God breathed it into man and then God stamped it. Which version did he stamp? And here's a kicker. Christians, y'all don't believe in homosexuality. Look up King James, King James <laughs> and homosexuality. Was he a homosexual? Look at it. Research it. And here y'all are worshiping that version, but I thought y'all were against homosexuality. So this is where we, as melanated people, any race, I don't care who you are, where you do your research, what you've never done because you sat in the walls and just listened to somebody tell you something, look at it and look it up from a research, from a historical point of view. And if we want to get into more of it, ask questions, whatever, then I can do videos. But there's so many videos out there right now, so many that were there before all this deconstructing stuff came to be, right? I went to seminary in 2016, 2015, 2016, and this is where I learned this. I learned it in Bible school that, and then I also learned that, oh, it's not the inerrant word of God, which means incapable of being wrong because people say it's the inerrant word of God. Which version? What about the books that were left out? What about the people, the actual people who chose? We don't know who these people are. We don't know if they were right in the mind, if they were racist, if they were against women. Come on now. This is where we study. This is where we do our work research. This is where we open our eyes. This is where we do that right here. So let's start there together. If y'all want to do some, some videos on that, we can. This is the first time that some of you have ever heard anything like this. You've never even heard what I just said. All you've heard was just the Bible is the word of God. We believe the word of God and we go to church and we scared of that black book. And now they make them in different colors and different versions.